Well, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. Excuse me, being late. Um, let's start out with updates on our communication effort. We'll let Mr. Chief Clark. There we go. Um, which part? Let's start with Channel 98. Where are we with that project? Uh, last I spoke with Comcast. They were working on some stuff. They were going to get back with me. I called last week, Thursday. left a message. They haven't returned my call yet this week. Um, you still don't want to share that information with the chair so I can make some contact with them myself? I will email you the guy's name. You promise? Mm hmm Will you email me this week or? I'll do it right now. Oh. <laughs> you can have Wait, it. That'll work. So I'll just take it off my plate then. All right. Um, do we have anybody that have any comments about Channel 98? I'd like to know. Is it on now? No. No. And we're discussing when it's going to be turned on? Yes, we're discussing how we're going to get it back on. Okay, so how will we be doing that? Well, it's making contact with Comcast and we'll see what kind of arrangement we make to get the equipment that we need. Because that's the issue is equipment, right? Um, Lack of. If we go back up on the old, if we're trying to just get back up on the old format, we need that device. Um, if we're trying to move forward to a new format, I'm not exactly sure what all we'll need to push forward with that. Okay. So at this point, channel 98 isn't even turned on, period, for anyone's access at all. Okay. No, it's just a blank screen. Okay. No, what happened... There was a piece of equipment that was downstairs, and when the radio station was moved out of City Hall, mm -hmm. apparently that piece was taken with it, and it's a small silver box, about a little bit smaller than this iPad, and um, we need that. Without that modulator, we can't do anything. Yeah, step up one second. So the most important part of it come up missing. Yes. Out of here. Oh. Right. Oh, it was in the basement. It, it was in the basement. Uh, but if if you guys remember that this channel was active and it only had some real. Yeah, I remember it. That's why I was wondering if it's even on. Period. It was active then, but when we started talking about it, it went blank. So, but I'm on an impression. And in my own life, I just say, use what you got. So we got Channel 98. It still reaches a lot of people. And that's another avenue. And we really need to get busy with it. Do we have to wait on uh, some they, phone calls? Can't nobody just go up there and just like knock on the door? Hey, how you doing? I'm here to talk about young man right there at work. Well, there's a lot of ways that we could do it. And if he's pushing buttons and I'm pushing buttons and somebody else is pushing buttons, uh, then whoever the representative is in Comcast know now that it's something that somebody needs to pay attention to. So that's how you do it. Honestly, I could tell you, I think part of the issue is Comcast really doesn't like these channels. And as the digital revolution goes with streaming and, and all that, their focus is not so much on these channels anymore. Right. And that's the issue. The only reason I found out that we still have it is there is a federal, there was a federal deadline that if you had the channel on this date, they would stay in perpetuity. But if you weren't, if it wasn't broadcasting at that point, they would be canceled. Ours were. Actually, both of them were. Um, and the school's been contacted. They can't seem to find it in all the pieces and parts. And the only other place in our area that has one, but they're still using theirs, is Buchanan. And that's where I actually got a picture of it from, was Buchanan City Hall. Um, and we've tried to even order one through the manufacturer, and they said they don't even make it anymore. They don't carry old ones, and they don't make it anymore. 
Um, so I don't, I'm not an Amazon person, so maybe somebody could find that on Amazon or something, but I don't. Uh, can, I, can I say something to the chair? I'm not an Amazon person either, but I know if somebody else would, would gladly get us set up, if you guys, Bible says, seek and you shall find. I mean, you, you go down one road, you stop at one entity, and then don't go any further. That's that's not that's not helping us uh, the citizen situation at all. And we've been talking about it for two, actually, way too long. I should say way, all caps, way too long. So through the chair, let's do something. Let's get let's get get whoever needs to be contacted, whoever to get it done. Can we make that a priority in through this chair, through this committee? Yes. It is definitely one of our priorities. So okay. when, when we get the information from Jesse uh Clark, we will get us a small group and Go after them in any way we can. I, I would like to know also, since uh, he's saying that Comcast no longer supports that station. No, they long, no longer want to. Right. Well, what do they have as far as an upgrade that they could offer us? Great question. That's, I mean, because I, I mean, we don't want to have I went, I went to the upgrade immediately because when I thought about right. Grand Rapids, and how they got it upgraded. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so yeah, I thought now's the time for us to have an upgrade. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. would be that would have been one of the conversations I start out with first. Mm -hmm. Digital, let's make it right. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to so have outdated equipment, and then right. when something goes wrong with it, then we're done again. So right, we need to have so the latest and greatest. Whatever we'll make sure we have that conversation with Comcast. Mm -hmm. The uh, only thing about contracts that are let with the city, and we do have a contract with Comcast. Mm -hmm. So I believe in competitive. Let's talk to another one that they ain't talking about. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money that uh, they get out of big harvest revenue. And right. we should be able to to utilize that money. It's the second largest uh, income coming in uh, after Gene Clark Park uh, for that's not taxes coming in. So mm -hmm. this this is money that really belongs to us to be able to get that communication line open. So yes, it is our our will be one of our priorities to get with Comcast and ATT and anybody else that we feel like we could get a good service from. Any more on channel 98? So when will we be making that call? As uh, soon as we can. Is that tomorrow in the morning? Or is that two weeks from now? Come on up. See, that's what irritates well, Mr. This Duncan, well, Mr. Duncan, because what I really thought is we could get you to help uh, make one of those calls. I'll and help make a call. You yeah. give you the telephone number, and we all make the call. Because the squeaky wheel gets the order. You don't squeak, you get nothing. But nobody ever told me I could make a phone call. And get well, you can, you can, you can, you can. I'm going to give you the number. You're part of this board. Everybody got a job to do when, when you're part of a citizen board. This is the citizen board. It's for the citizens to do what they need to do for each other. So this is a citizen board. It's not run like all the other boards because I'm just trying to facilitate. That's it. I'm not trying to dictate. You don't even have to go through the, you can have a conversation with each other because that's how humans do. I think, I think we need a, 
I just think we need our officers to have bigger hands in this. I think it should get done faster. Well, I'm saying that he he's got a lot of hats, and and we'll be we're glad to have well, him. Well, I'll help. I'll make a call. We'll, okay, we'll make sure that you need. get the number. I, my question was, can we get one of them AT and T uh, service providers to come to one of our meetings? That would be better than sitting up trying to talk to their ass on the telephone. That that's a possibility if we ever. Can we get, try? That's the chair. That's the possibility if we ever get to that point where we get some phone number, some uh, a, re, a total resistance from Comcast. We'll go straight to to the next one. Well, we, I'm talking about Comcast. Can we get them to come? And I don't think it's do really necessary. A, I think that if we have this conversation, because we have a contract with them, and it's all legal, so if they, if they are following the contract and we're following the contract, then we get what we need. That's just it. And if they're not going to follow the contract, then we have an option. I'm going to let that contract. Can we not? Can we just right, to, to the commission take get us out of it? Hmm. Uh, you said they're not into uh, really these types of programs anymore. So, do you know what they are into? The the problem that we have, and maybe I misspoke. Um, the the analog system we have downstairs, it doesn't work as well with the digital systems. So that's what we need to upgrade. Our, our our stuff is just too old. The hardware that's down there has been down there since the early 2000s, and this is before we went digital cable and all that. So it's all coax, and that's the problem. If there's no fiber down there, it all runs over coax, and it's all analog signal instead of digital. That's what they don't want to support. They'd rather support a digital system. It's just a matter of figuring out how much it's going to cost and all that. technology they can bring us up to speed. So how much are those to share? How much are those the equipment that we're talking about now was upgraded? I don't have that information. Those are that those are questions you definitely need to be writing down. And when you start talking to your representative you can ask them if you are part of that uh, agreement with Comcast. Every citizen in this house that have Comcast is paying with money. And they reimburse the city some of that money. I think it's ninety thousand dollars that they gave the city for one year. So that's a that's a, enough for them to set up. They giving us ninety thousand, you can imagine what they make. So it's enough for them. To get our attention and say that we want to keep you. Did they bring, was it the high fire or high fire? I don't know anything yeah. about that, Mr. Duncan. If you just write all your questions down and you talk to the representative, you can get answers. But otherwise, our next meeting, if we even had a conversation with someone, we'll all be able to present it and we'll all be on the same page. Uh, don't you think people probably um, do the same thing that Comcast did? Absolutely. What, what would the domain office be for? Like AT&T University? I don't know. All well, I know is with Comcast. Comcast. Yeah, we want to only deal with Comcast. When you deal with Comcast, if they give us and satisfy us as a, as a good customer service, then we'll stay with Comcast. If not, then we'll talk, talk to them. Well, so there's that, other ones. Well, there's a Seekery and a, and a couple other ones. The Verizon, a whole lot of we could talk to about having in the city of Benton House. Well, I know that's the way I'm out of this one, but the name is what's going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I only know Comcast. Agreed. Okay. And we could talk about live streaming. Where are we getting close to? Being live streamed? We, I told you last one, we've been able to do it all along. 
but are we going to do it? I just need to have the go-ahead. That's it. You need a go-ahead from the, the body? I believe so, yeah. Then the only thing after that is we need to probably before a week or so before we do it the first time, put a press release out so that everybody knows. Okay, um, I'll make sure that... Um, the best of will of the, of the body right now, the communication is for us to go live stream, then we have to talk to the commission and have them pass a resolution and to do it. Although they already supported the communication part, but we can get that done. Um, if you give consensus now, we may get it on next week's agenda, if not the week, two, three weeks from now. That's what you guys want. We'll do that. And then Clark will feel comfortable live streaming it forever and ever. Our YouTube page is on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've been we've been doing that since April. Yeah. The, and, but you know what, Clark? Only thing that I'm getting the people say is they don't have enough sound. Well, we need to tighten up the system in here. What we're going to have to do is actually, um, one of the other issues I've heard is that um, because we've only got the one camera here and I'm not moving it every time somebody talks because I don't want people to get seasick. Um, it can be frustrating when you got the body sitting here and somebody's talking at the chair like where you are and they can't see it. So one of the solutions we're looking at is putting a, a fisheye camera basically above the exit sign at a downward angle that will cover all the chairs and then also that seat. And then um, instead of having the microphone right here, putting it somewhere more centrally located so that way it'll pick up. But we don't want to pick up the, the, the conversation in the gallery. We don't want to pick up all the sidebar conversations and all that. We mostly just want the person who sits at the table who has the chair there or the commission here. So we'll probably put it up here somewhere just to keep the sound right. But yeah, that's those are those are those are the concerns I've had. Do you have any of that in writing that I might submit to because if I'm going to the commission to get approval to do live streaming, then I want to also dovetail some expenses in there. Uh, for the new camera Anything else? That's I, that's all actually part of the whole an entire project that I'm working on. That I've been trying to work through the USDA to get taken care of. So through the USDA. Mm -hmm. well, well, we can't wait that long. We got money already, and we want to spend that money. But the the, the problem that we don't want to run into is we don't want to hodgepodge a camera here with the system, and then we put a new surveillance system in the building, and then they don't they don't link up or we put something in and then as we change the building around the technology changes and then the systems don't mesh because that's kind of what we're running into now with the cameras at clock park versus the rest of the city those are an older system that don't work with the newer system and the newer system we have now barely works the total cost for all of city hall and everything else i think was uh, sixty-seven thousand. that's new the the new door strikes the prox keys so we can get around because we got to change those out the system's getting old we've had it since 2005 i think um that's those that's the cameras that's getting rid of that the old server that's at its end of life now and putting the system that's web-based so we can just log in and you can see it at any time because right now as we upgrade the system is so defunct only windows 7 computers can log into it so anything that we've had to replace because of emergency or anything else that's Windows 10, we can't use it. Um, and we can't go back to Windows 7 because Windows 7 is at end of life with Microsoft. So they won't sell it. They won't support it. So as we're going and as we replace computers, we're losing more and more of the computers that can actually tap the cameras. 
So it's just it's it's easier to do it as a package deal. I mean, if if we if if you want to go individual, you can. I wouldn't recommend it though, because the uniformity of one system is a lot safer. It's a lot secure, and it's a lot better functioning overall. I like. I, I would like the idea. If we find some way to do it ourselves. I don't know anything about it, but I know it's enough. It's enough people would actually make that work. There's some little young that work to make that work. Something where we can see their face from up there. We don't have to hear no back. Ground chat. We don't have to hear none of that. But if we can sit back here and see their face up there, they're going to have you back to us right here. And if we can hear what they're saying and let everybody outside of this building hear what they're saying, then that would satisfy this, this citizen in particular. You never have to hear nothing else from me. And the, the thought of a uh, uh, closed door session. With, uh, with the police feeling it somewhere else, and all that, don't that violate some kind of rule? That didn't happen. I'm, I'm saying if it, if it was set up like that, then it would be happy, wouldn't it? No, we don't have closed door session in this open chamber. Well, we, so we, they can't film it because we don't have open, closed door session in the chamber. Well, it, even, if, even just a regular meeting. They would be sitting down there, right? It's a public meeting and everything. You could avail a public meeting? Everything can be filmed and taped in a public meeting. Oh, public. good, good, good. As long as it's on, as long as it can be, the public outside of this building can see and know what's going on. That would satisfy everybody I think that I know. Well, what do you think? Um, I understand what he's saying. Yeah. Um, but like Officer Clark said, it has to be, we should all have it on one system. That's what I think. It's part of the best. Yeah, I, I agree with that too. Yeah, now, don't get me wrong. Be, what yeah. I don't agree with is talking about some futuristic ways out of the question when you're going to know, when you're going to do it, all that. We've been down that road and we're still on the road. So to, to go on and to win next year this time or year after next this time. So Officer Clark, can you give us a time frame as to when that they are? We're going to be submitting this to the USDA for their initial review. Then it'll probably come to the commission. We have to have this done and a package presented and ready to go before the end of this federal fiscal year. So, I mean, this is, we're already halfway through July. I, my time is running out. So, I mean, this, this is not something we're dragging our feet on. Um, the, just because I work in the police department doesn't mean the police department wants this system. We only have it in our building right now because that's where the server room is. Um, we don't want the system for the entire city unless it's police cameras. But um, it just so happens that we have the biggest department and I have the most jobs. So um, to kind of put it into perspective, it's a it's an overall system. It's not just going to be this room recording. It's going to be monitors down in the lobby that tie into those. So say we have a packed meeting house and the meeting needs to be broadcast downstairs. You know how like sometimes you go to those larger events and they got two different places. Yeah. It'll be it'll be set up that way. Outside the door yeah. So well down downstairs. The that's yeah, good. so good. it's it's just a, we're trying to stay with what the law says we have to keep with for records keeping and all that. At the same time, try to get the most bang for our buck and fix our technology issues that we've been plagued with over the last 10 years. Okay, so in that budget that you're coming up for this, you have included what we're asking for. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ultimately... The, the, the short term, um, probably midterm goal is have you ever been to um, like these places that are called cool cities 
or like a downtown business district where there's a moto mesh where there's like the whole thing is wireless. You just, you just, that's kind of where we're ultimately long term going to go is there's a, there's the ability to provide Wi Fi to the entire city. We're only four square miles. It's not that, it's not that difficult actually. Um, and in doing that, we can then offer it as a service to the citizens. So, you know, there's, that's where we're trying to get to. Um, I know Granholm had talked about it at one point before EM making this a cool city and just hitting the downtown. We were a cool city and we got a lot of money. Yeah, but the, the ultimate goal is to basically to moto mesh the whole city. And so when you go to Clock Park or, you know, you pay a small nominal fee and you got wire, high speed wireless through the whole city. Um, everybody has cell phones these days, whether they have service in them or not, but they're still using them wireless. They connect to their phones wirelessly. We also know that good high speed wireless service is expensive. So, you know, the ultimate goal is to get to a point where we can provide a service at, at, at a reasonable cost or even if we find more grants make it a no cost to city residents then you can just go out to the beach and you got wireless internet you can sit in the park and you got wireless internet you can be at broadway park and you, you know you're wireless through the whole city so but we've got to get some more infrastructure built up here first and overall i was like one of the problems we ran into um pushing wireless internet to the watch house at the beach um, to put Wi-Fi in the little guard shack there at Clock Park. Uh, it was 800 linear feet that we had to push high speed signal. And we ended up coming up with a different alternative because that would have cost us almost $2,000 just to do that. Excuse me. But the first phase, the, the first part of this project I'm working on, like I said, federal fiscal year ends September 30th. So everything has to be done and submitted by then or where else. I mean, October 1st starts a whole new funding cycle, but we don't want to, I don't want to miss a funding cycle if we don't have to. So I'm not, I'm trying not to delay anything. Madam Chair. Yes. Um, so when, do, when is the deadline on the funds that we have for this year? Uh, it's not in, it doesn't roll over, um, so starting this month. July 1 to June July 30. July 1, we have to ask for more money. Okay. And per the city manager, when I did question him about it, he said, there was a lump sum um, administration line item that had our money in it. Mm -hmm. So I guess we need to find out how much money. If, if Deputy Clark is saying he's looking to get a grant, it takes them months and months, sometimes years, sometimes years to get stuff like that off the ground. But not so much with the USDA. Yeah, because they're kind of on a seasonal stuff. Right. And so maybe it maybe it'll happen, maybe not. It's the key about writing the grant. Mm -hmm. So I guess we can kind of do some more research. Uh, you know, back in the early 90s, St. Louis, Missouri, they got internet for all of their community. And within a year, uh, they went up 25% grade level in school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, let's do that here. Just couldn't get it done because we was doing other things. But now we're right back to it. And I got a strong board. Do you have any completed uh, cameras? Or do you need like offsets? What do you have to do as it's all the taping here? Like when you go out in the community with video and tape events, uh, things like that? Or? No, we don't have that. But when we do the negotiation with 
our provider will ask for it. I'd love to have a, a woman on the street or a man on the street just talking to people and putting it on 98. Just talking to people. What you got to say about whatever it is. So there's another avenue. You thought about having like a, a sit down setting? I know in Detroit they had like a show in Chicago, like sit down setting, you like make up Detroit or whatever. Yeah, well, there is a government channel and then there's a community channel. So I'm sure the government's definitely going to take the government channel and run with it. What we have to do is to make sure that the community's channel is available so we can run with that too. Do you know in the past how many people have used the community channel? I mean, like, like what the. Actually, the actually. Um, the community channel and the government channel. The government didn't have a channel. They just used the, the community channel. And then the, then the government took over the community channel. And now they only have one. Well, I think the school still have theirs, but they don't utilize it. So it's available there. All of this is available to us. All we have to do is to make sure that the body knows what this board wants. Well, I'm talking about like, you know, how many people will use it, how many households will use the channel? Like, oh, channel 98, I, I really don't have that number, but that's probably some of the information I will be asking Comcast, so we'll know. Uh, but, and like I said, if they're giving us 90000 a year, how much do you think they make? So whatever it is, we ain't going to double corporate world, they, they, they like to make money. Oh, you're talking about Comcast now. Oh, I thought you were talking about the best. Oh, no. So we uh, we can do it. We just got to be a strong body. It's going to take a little work, and it's going to take me to, to document what we're talking about, send it to the body. As long as we're, as long as we're saying the right things that we feel like to, to recommend to make the communication with the citizen and the public relations information, we're not even working on that yet. But when once we get the communication avenues open, the public relations is just wide open to us to do what we need to do. Okay, so live streaming. We kind of know where we're going to go with that. Um, and, uh, then our uh, number two item we talked about last week, we talked about uh, the dangers of the 5G. I had a conversation with each one of the commissioners and I asked them would they please just keep kicking this can down the road. We just talk about it in each committee until we all uh, be under the same on the same page with it. Somehow it got dropped and some of the commission didn't put it on their committee. So I went back to them again and asked them, will they please let's talk about this. Let's other people hear about it. Uh, and, and then sooner or later we're going to have to make a decision about it. If it's something that we want for our citizens or not. So, uh, what was the reason for not putting it on? Uh, one commissioner said they forgot. The next meeting, we ought to just call for the worst. Mm -hmm. if, if everybody don't get involved with it, then I mean, it shouldn't take this long for that either. I, I, I'm disappointed in in my city government that you're busy trying to take care of every other, everybody else's business and don't take care of us and for to just keep coming and saying that over and over that's irritating well mr dunning you got the knowledge on it already and it's kind of hard sometimes for other people to start absorbing something so that's why i said we just keep talking about it talk about it until they get it 
They, they see it, they understand it, they feel it. Can they turn that stuff on and off at will? Yeah, but go corporate, corporate world, when they turn it on, they don't turn it off. <laughs> no, because that's their internet, well, they, their Wi-Fi, that's everything. They turned it off in this one place. Oh, because they, they asked them to. They made them turn it off. Well, then we should make a referendum or whatever you guys say you have to do to, if it's a polls up that they can't use them. Mr. Johnson, that's what I'm trying to get the body to understand so they all be on the same page we are, the ones that got the information. We got to give them the information and get them in tune to it so they can discuss it. Well, but we can't do it by ourselves. We got to get them all, everybody in tune to what 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 our concerns are. Tell them they got it. All, all of them were at the meeting. The meeting the woman got and if they and if we hadn't said anything, it would just never go any further. It would have stopped right there. That's just the way. You'll see. <laughs> just, just keep coming. You'll see. But the five is the deadliest thing for everybody. Well. Well, the same thing about cigarettes. People are still smoking cigarettes. People, yeah, I, I mean, but <laughs> you know, I mean, so you, not doing something about the body itself. I know, but I'm saying people are still smoking cigarettes. They know that it's definitely devastating for their health, but they still smoke. So, the five G, it ain't it ain't affecting you right now. That's why you're getting less interested. But it's on us to keep pushing the issue, and pretty soon the light bulbs will come on, and somebody will say, "Oh my, that's dangerous." So that's our job to keep doing it. I'll keep pushing the button to make sure that it's on committee, and we'll talk about it. Uh, we try to get uh, our committee meetings, YouTube, so people can hear us talking about it. If it's over and over and over, some light bulbs are going to come on. They're going to Google it and they start doing their own research. And I guarantee you, if you got loved ones in the area, you want to stop it before it gets started. But someone told me that it wasn't on yet. I don't know. Yes. They have a deadline of that. I don't know. Some places already have it. No, I mean, yeah, some places said, have it, said, but in Benton Harbor, they No, said, not yet. Not yet. Okay, yeah, but they wouldn't tell us said. if it was on. Um, right. You would have to care. call to find out when they're going to activate it. Call Verizon, call AT&T, and they will tell you when, when that service is going to be turned on. Mm. Okay, so we do have some time to get the other yeah. body. The, the body. bigger cities already, some of them already have it, like Chicago. Oh yeah, yeah. But only Seattle. certain neighborhoods in Chicago. Only certain neighborhoods. Really. Mm -hmm. It could be certain neighborhoods. But uh, yeah. a very, uh, a very nice and suburban old school in California just told them to take it down, and they politely did. It. They didn't mm -hmm. take up tell them to take it down. They, the kids caught cancer. Oh yeah. And, and they told them that. Those were the effects of it, and they they took them down and moved them somewhere else. That's what they said they were going to do, and that's what they did. Four, four, they probably eight, moved seven to ten year olds had cancer in one school really? at the same time. So the parents were upset about it and had did some research. They asked them to take it down. That was and of course, in that neighborhood, they obliged them. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like our neighborhood. Right? But I guarantee you, if we Redding, ask them, if this body asks them, this body has the power to tell them to take mm -hmm. it down. Don't oh, it up. that's something we can do. <laughs> Let's do that then. All right. Tell them. We don't want it. Whatever you got on our polls, come get them. Okay. Well, so that's, that's that's the one in the mirror. It's the job to keep talking about it. Don't everybody that you see that might want, because word of mouth will start spreading, and 
and, and although we are a people of, of poverty and always in a crisis, most of us are in a crisis all the time. Well, this is a crisis yep. well, within the... Yep, one for the other. other. One crisis to the other, and a lot of times it's just hard to stay focused. But we have to do that because that's what we do to help each other. Okay? Uh, discussion of methods to communicate, get information to residents. Uh, I talked to Commissioner Singleton and he said that he finally looked at the video of One Voice Now and he thinks that it's something that Benton Harbor really needs. Did you get a chance to look up One Voice Now? I've talked with him now. Anybody? I've talked with him. Oh, okay. Frank. Frank. David Frank. Yeah. Uh, so, did you get a chance to? Yes, I, I watched it when we after you. Yeah. How hard, how hard would that be to get to happen here? It's been hard. That's the question we have to ask our tech, our tech person. Have you looked that up, uh, that technology up, uh, that project up, One Voice Now? <laughs> it's uh, on YouTube. It's a it's a video and it's another one too. One one voice now. Dot org. Uh, no, I have not looked at that. Could could we get you to just peruse that? Because we're having a great interest in it, and if you are connecting your servers and all and trying to get unified with everything in the city hall and around then that might be one of the connections we want because we got a couple of commissioners that are interested in it and uh i'm going to bring david frank back to talk about it again but this time i'm going to ask him to come to the board and tell us all about it. Again, mm -hmm. we've been talking about this for 10, 13 years. <laughs> yeah, he said that last time he came, but he said um, the board at the time was been. Oh, yeah, they, they couldn't see anything past mm -hmm. their nose. So, one voice now. I'm going to go on Facebook and share it with other people and ask them to look. The, the key about it is everybody's phone will let you text. And if you can, if you're here watching, you're at home watching a live stream and they're talking about something and you want to chime in, then you go right to that and text them. And they'll pick it up and they can either ask the question or give it to whoever can answer your question and later on. I don't know how that'll go. We might have to rearrange the meeting where it's more conducive for the citizens to be involved. But right now, we ask the question of the citizen, give them an opportunity to talk. And all they have is a one-page agenda and they don't really know what was on there until we start talking about it, unless they saw a meeting on the, the previous Wednesday. Yeah, we can know in two weeks. So it's a great opportunity for us to make a connection, and even to a uh, uh, opportunity if we decide, or do we want to do this downtown? What do people think about doing something downtown? They could chime in on that, or. or what do you think about giving this medical marijuana person, you know, what do you think about a credit union? Would you be interested in being ownership of the credit union? And if they text us back and say, yes, no, then we'll have a kind of meter to monitor who 
We already know who these people are. We already know they're registered and they live in the city. That's all we need to know. We don't need to know if they rent, or if they stay in the shoebox. We don't need to know that. As long as they are registered and they live in the city, we should be trying to get that input. Because nine of us, we only have a, a, enough sense for four of us. <laughs> You know, bro, all our sense together, you might get four real good intelligent people. So that's why we need the citizens to come out and put their expertise in. So anyway, we can do it. So if there's any more suggestions other than one voice now, let's talk about it. So we can employ any means to get well, the citizens' information and their input. I'd like to see just to one one voice now was talking about where you could eventually in time be able to vote over that uh, network. Yep. Then that's that's the that's the line that we need. Trying there's a lot of people handicapped, old, can't make it, got well, you got uh, voter absentee ballot, but to have it where we can just call on the phone. If there's a police officer on the other end, we can show them our ID, put it on our face. That's us. It ain't no question about it. Can we vote that way too? That's a good possibility. Uh, 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 that's one thing that One Voice Now recommends that we have set it up so, and the computer can do it. They teach a computer to do anything. You can say, oh, stop right Voice there. Voice recognition, uh, facial recognition. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. computer, this is because now with print. a lot of the schools Everything. closing, that will, that's eliminating some of our um, polling places. Yeah. yeah. The clerk's having a hard time trying to be the right place to, for us to go and vote. Right. Oh, real. They doing. So, is it any more avenues that we need to talk about for communication with the residents? Uh, bring out the newsletters, like the old school. Yeah, newsletters, monthly newsletters. The only thing about a monthly newsletter, somebody has to write it. Well, are we, uh, what about the city having their own radio? Oh, or yeah. have a, a person talking about it on one of our campus that go to the city. Well, we need our radio station. That was one avenue that definitely uh, enhanced the people. I mean, information shared by almost every, anything. So I know that at the time we had a radio station, a lot of people got their information from the radio station. Yeah. On Facebook. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So that that is uh, uh, on our radar. But are we trying to repurchase the well? We're gonna radio have to station equipment. We're really gonna have to wait and see. Um, we're gonna have to wait to see if we can get a staff, more staff, to um, take okay. care of that radio station. Because if the school is not using it and they're hurting, we can give them say five thousand dollars back and and bring that old antiquated equipment mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. and, and see what we can do about it. I, mean, I think we need to get our own station because for all the world 5.3, I've been trying to get on with us and get a show for about four years and I've been getting another one. Uh, well, this was downstairs in the basement. It was training people and it, it just was I didn't came to there too. So I worked with uh, TJ. Uh, TJ? So I think it's the name. So yeah. So it was a it was a good program and it was going so well and that's why it shut down because it was going too well. Man. It was too much thing like the fact that the city the citizens were getting the information in real time. It was during that city income tax that they had a problem with it. We were saying yeah and they were saying nay and they oh, shut it down. Yeah. Oh yeah. First low down, real visual low down thing they did to the citizens. And then the viewer, the listener could call too and ask for a second opinion. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, we we had a talk show. It, most of the most of the commissioners had a talk show. Yeah. Yeah. So that made it even better. You call and talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have one of those for about like ten years. Mm -hmm. well, I like to see all of that come back because since then they've got. I'm saying they, you know, you know, a big way. They have messed with our right to be able to communicate with each other. And that's all, you know, that was a problem a long, long, long time ago. And it ain't much changed. And then everybody looked and wondered why we feel the way we do and why we uh, are the way we are, feel the way we feel. Well, the radio is definitely on the on a part of that agenda of, of communication. That should be uh, uh, something more immediate. It will be when we get staff enough staff to take care of it. So, how many staff do you think you need? How many times turnout? How many? I would like to see. Equipment. I would like to see mm -hmm. uh, one staff member. And the rest of them volunteers from the community. Mm -hmm. And of course, the commission. I bet the first one. Hi, this is Commissioner Henry on the station here. Yeah, let's talk about it. So, uh, yeah, everybody, yeah, everybody ought to be involved. Everybody part of should, this. should have something uh, to, to do with it. So, we need to focus on getting that equipment back. Well, the first thing we got to do is approve by the board, right? Well, so getting the equipment back? No, I'm talking about to bring the station back, right? Oh yeah, that's that's the board work on that, but that's no problem once once we get someone to do the mm -hmm. uh, initial, yeah, and they gonna be glad to get it back. But some of them sat and had their own show when they first came on board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks for bringing that radio up again. That was one of the target areas. Uh, Channel 98, live streaming. Uh, our website. Does anybody go on Big Island's website? I have. You have? You have? Mm -hmm. have you found that it was friendly? It's accessible, yeah. Okay, great. So they've been working on it, and we've been paying through the nose for. for IT people, so I'm glad to hear it's working. When you when you uh, check on on the phone, oh, not the phone. When you, yeah, no. I think I'm going backwards. The uh, Comcast. The, the Comcast. We should have Sci-Fi a high. Uh, High speed internet. High speed internet. Can we get it to reach to Jane Clark Park? Yeah, that's what, yeah. Yeah, we're going to try to have that. He's working on that mm -hmm. through a, a grant. Mm -hmm. And it's most likely Ben Ivor will get the grant. Well, we that's, get just pretty much up for old Ben Ivor. But the key end. is to keep that money here and not let other people come in and manipulate us and move it out. Mm -hmm. And Clark's not going anywhere. He's going to get a big raise and he's going to stay here forever. That'd be good. <laughs> fall out of your chair over there. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I was glad I was done eating my chips at that point. <laughs> okay. Uh, next on the agenda is there are some boards that have some vacancies. Now, Although the rules have changed about the boards and the committee, and hopefully we can change and move some of them back to where they were and make the boards and committees, citizen boards and committees, like they were. Uh, but these boards are need big hire people to sit at the table. Uh, and if you don't do anything but just sit there and listen about the business of the city. You get so much information about it, and the more you listen, the more you learn. 
presume you will find something that you want to happen for the residents. Now, Benton Harbor St. Joe Joint Board of Commissioners for the Wastewater Treatment Plant has one vacancy. And uh, I believe they meet once a month on Thursday um, as well. Let me say this. Benton Harbor St. Joe Joint Board of Commissioners for the Wastewater Treatment Plant gives you a little stipend for going to the meeting. So that might help you put a little gas in your car and fill your, fill your brain and your heart up with information about this uh, wastewater treatment plant because it belongs to St. Joe and Big Island both. I'm not actually, she didn't give me a full uh, scenario when they meet, but I do know it's uh, on Thursday once a month. The Board of Review, and that board uh, responds to the residents that have tax, property tax questions, assessment questions, and there's a board, there's a seat vacant, one seat for that, and that board also has a stipend connected to it, but help you with the gas money and the time that you got spend. Uh, and I believe they meet two times a year. Now, can I ask a question about this new board I'm talking about? Can ex-convicts sit on these boards? Yes, ex-convicts can, can sit on the board. Can uh, people from, uh, can handicapped people sit on the board? Yes, handicapped people can sit on the board. Can seniors sit on the board? Yes. All you have to be is a citizen of Benton Harbor, a, a registered voter, and have no debt, is, is not that, be in default. Is that true? That's true. Just while with your seat, you might be high on your seat. Like your, your taxes or? Yeah, your taxes, your water bill. If you're in default, you can be behind. And not be in default. No other reason. Yes, there is other reason. Hello. Okay, let me finish this because we are already getting close to having another meeting. Uh, of course, there's one seat here in uh, communication. Um, compensation Commission, there's two seats there. They probably haven't met in like 10 years. Construction Board of Appeals, there's four seats there. They probably haven't met in 20 years. Oh my goodness. Downtown Development Authority has four seats and they meet every month. And they have a lot to talk about. So even if you are not a part of downtown and you have four hours a month to share, please. Go to the downtown authority and listen to the conversation and give your input from the south side of Main Street. Downtown development, is it called Rich? Is the question going there? Who's the question? I really don't know. Housing Commission has a seat, one vacancy, and the Income Tax Appeal Board has three seats vacant. Now the Income Tax Appeal Board is required by the state of Michigan for residents to be on this board. Now the other review board that the mayor created, it wasn't required by the state. But this Income Tax Appeal Board is required by the state and it's required that Benton Harbor residents be on. So there's three seats available, and if you want to know more about and get so empowered with information about the income tax, that's another board that you should sit on. Contact the city clerk's office. What board? Income tax appeal board. Uh, the clerk's office at 200, 200 East Wall Street. Her number is. 
927-8408. She's there from 835. Call and get involved in your government. We are at the crossroads of things getting better, and we need your support in everything that we're going to be doing now for the next 20 years. Take care of your babies and your grandbabies. I got, okay. I got friends that bump their heart, but they say the same stuff constantly. They want to serve on board, but apparently they can't serve on board. They have served on board before. There is nothing that would disallow someone from outside of the community to serve on the board. They'll go through the same process everyone else does, fill out an application, be interviewed at legislative and approved by the body. Any more questions or concerns? Thank I you. have one, but I'll talk about it at another time. Thank you, Mr. Duffy. Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming. Now, what is that? Go hard. Oh.